This video is made possible by EA Creator Network. Hi guys, it's Almosi here, so welcome to another apartment renovation. So today I'm back renovating this apartment, which is another city living apartment, and this time I am renovating a Jasmine Suites apartment. And I really can't remember the last time I renovated one of these. It's been a long time, but I thought this would be the perfect apartment to showcase the latest kit called the Blooming Rooms Kit. So you'll see a lot of the objects in here, well, a lot of the plants because it's a plant themed kit, which I am so excited about. But I was looking on Pinterest for inspiration and I saw this really beautiful piece of artwork over on DeviantArt by the artist called Pascal Champion. And they had this really pretty drawing of this um, like, window with the leafy sort of the curtain around it sort of like this object that came in the kit and then these floor to ceiling bookcases and a couch and just a person laying there and reading and just the light coming through it was such a beautiful image so i'll put a picture of it here on screen so you guys can see what i was talking about and yeah i'll have a link in the description so you guys can check out their other artwork but it was just such an inspiring image and i just yeah i thought it would be perfect to try to do in this apartment so i'm using these bookcases that came from uh, I believe get to work, but I thought they worked really nicely for creating this whole built-in bookcase look that I was going for. And then of course the plants just completed. There's a lot more plants than there was in the inspiration image because I wanted to go like plant crazy in this apartment because the kit has tons of plants. I believe there's 24, I don't know if there's 24 objects or 24 plants. I think there, there's 24 something. <laughs> um, but anyways, there's a few different like shelf surfaces. There's a variety of plants and they resize really nicely. And there's so many different like variations in like the pop colors and like the leaf variations. There's so many different of those and just a really nice variety of plants. And also a lot of them actually fit on shelf surfaces, which I think is so cool. And it was honestly something I was not expecting because there's so many different objects that look like they'll fit on shelf surfaces and then they never do in The Sims. And so I was really happy to see that and I'm just completely obsessed. This is like, like my dream kit basically. I have been wanting a plant themed pack for such a long time. And ever since we started getting kits, I thought a plant kit would be perfect because they're on the smaller scale and I thought it was something that we would actually be able to see in The Sims. And thankfully they came out with it and I'm just really enjoying it a lot. So let me know if you guys are getting it. Uh, let me know if you've already got it, if you're enjoying it or if you're not interested, I would love to hear it. But yeah, I was um, not only inspired by that image, but also another time where I renovated this apartment, I did this sort of like split level um, except for I had the living room where I'm putting the kitchen now and then the kitchen was in the living room area And I just remembered really enjoying that like layout and I thought it would be perfect to kind of showcase the plants and Do sort of a similar like soft boho feel in this apartment I think it turned out so nicely and I think I actually prefer the kitchen being up here on the upper level rather than the living room it looked pretty in that apartment, but I think realistically it works better for the floor plan to have the kitchen up here because you can easily fit a dining table so if you guys saw that apartment let me know if you guys agree um but yeah i was really happy to kind of revisit that idea because sometimes i really don't like using the same floor plans because i like to do different things but it's nice using a similar floor plan and then kind of swapping out where the rooms are and trying to do something different with it so yeah that was pretty fun but anyways over here you can see i'm working on the kitchen i really wanted to use a like green refrigerator and stove and so these ones that came from cottage living worked perfectly and then of course i'm just adding some clutter around trying to make it feel lived in and fully decorated and then of course adding a ton of plants and that little plant that I just put up there I forget what those little circular leaf plants are called I knew at one point but I can't remember at the moment but either way the pots that they're in are little animals and they're so cute and there's so many different variations and then over here you'll see a few more of the plant decorations these tiny plants that I'm putting over here there's another one of those animal pots and there's just so many there's so many good ones and honestly I didn't use every plant available that came in this kit I tried to place most of them but if they didn't work in the space then I just placed one that I already did because really you could place the same plant multiple times and there's so many different variations in the pot color and the leaf colors that they really don't even look like the same plant anymore and so it doesn't feel too repetitive and so I really like that I really appreciate 
just that kind of like extra step in making each one feel different and not like just changing the pot color. So it was super cool and I'm just really impressed by that. And yeah, I love that hanging plant, by the way, the one that's hanging from the ceiling in the kitchen. It's so beautiful. This is an apartment that has like the tallest wall height. So it's not like the best one for hanging that one because I believe it's designed for the shortest wall height or at least the medium one would probably look a little bit better. But yeah, this one's just like the tallest wall height and it's like, it's so tall. <laughs> but um, I think I made it work in the kitchen at least because I have the platform, which sort of makes it not like look so awkward, I guess, but I do end up using it in uh, the toddler's room and I believe in the parents' room too. So yeah, over here I'm working on the laundry room. Um, I had the space for it, so I decided to include it. And the last time I renovated this apartment, I included one there too, and I think it works really nicely. But yeah, so this apartment has two bedrooms and the laundry room and then one other bathroom. So if you really didn't wanna do laundry, you could easily have another bathroom or turn it into like a, maybe like an office or something. Or if you want to continue with the plant theme, you could make like a little like indoor green room or something. And if you were wanting to use the tool mod, you could like replace some of the windows or, or like add some more. Even if you didn't want to do like a toddler room, you could turn this into like a green room. I thought that would be really cool. But since I was showcasing a new pack, I didn't want to use the tool mod. That way, if you are on console, you can easily download this apartment and everything will be exactly how it's supposed to be. And you won't have to worry about like the windows looking weird or something because I replaced them. But yeah, over here is going to be the toddler's room and I couldn't help but be a little bit concerned about having a toddler in this apartment because of all of the books, they would be pulling them down. And then of course all of the plants but it's the sims and you really don't have to worry about that but i couldn't i couldn't help but think about it because i do have a son in case you guys didn't know and he's almost a year old and he is into everything and it's only gonna get worse i can imagine as he uh, becomes more mobile because he's not walking yet but he is cruising everywhere he holds onto the couch moves to the coffee table and you know, climbs up um, to grab the knobs on like the kitchen cabinets and pulls himself up there. And so I'm sure once he starts walking, it's gonna be, we're gonna be like running around the house after him. But, um, so this probably wouldn't be that realistic, but I still think it's cute. And we have this bed that has like the leaves on it. And I just thought it was so adorable. So I just tried to add as many decorations that I thought suited the theme. I added tons of plants in here, which I don't normally do in toddler's rooms basically for that idea that I was talking about, but since this is basically a blooming apartment, I couldn't help myself. And we have so many good uh, green objects that fit nicely in toddler's rooms. But here I realized I forgot to continue decorating the kitchen table. So I put a plant on here and a fruit bowl. I wanted to use this fruit bowl that came from, I think Parenthood, but it looked a little bit awkward, so I just used a base game round one instead. Um, but here I'm back in the toddler's room, just adding some more decorations up on the dresser, just trying to make it feel fully decorated. And I also really liked using these tree wall decals. I don't think I've ever really used them before. If I did, it's like maybe once or twice, but they were perfect in there. And then over here is going to be the bathroom. The bathroom is fairly fairly simple, but I do add quite a bit of clutter and of course some more plants. I put some plants up on the counter as well as just like general bathroom clutter and yeah, things to make it feel fully decorated and lived in. And of course I'm using a recolor to the base game towels and robes in a green color because well, plants are green. <laughs> so I thought that the Sim that decorated this apartment would probably choose green colors for their towels. That was my reasoning behind that anyways. And so I thought that looked pretty good. Um, but yeah, I think it's a nice bathroom. Very simple, like I said, but it still feels fully decorated. And I really liked sizing down that bigger plant pot and putting it up on the counter. It's kind of interesting because it has sort of this mossy, like snake-like plant growing around it. And so I thought that was really interesting and I thought it looked good over there. Um, but over here is going to be the parents' room. So in the parents' room, you could fit one sim or two sims. I was kind of thinking one, but... I really honestly wasn't thinking about it too much. Um, it was more about decorating it in a certain way. So you could easily have um, yeah, one or two Sims in this uh, bedroom if you would like to. But yeah, in this room, I was trying to think how I could add a lot of plants, but still make it feel like a bedroom and have it be fully functional and have your Sim be able to get to the bed, obviously. And so what I end up doing is putting some more of those bookcases like I did in the living room. 
um, to the left side of the bed and it looks so good. I'm so happy that I decided to do that because I was able to add a lot of plants. And then over here I'm using a new plant stand that came with the kit and putting some plants on it, using the hanging plant again. And I love that variation. I think it looks so nice. And then other than that, I do clutter up the nightstands. I also have this really nice built-in wardrobe. I used the um, modular furniture that came from Dream Home Decorator and some like the shoe clutter and box clutter. So I thought this looked really nice. Um, I did consider putting one of the walk-in closets that came from Get Together like I did in the toddler's room and in the entryway, but I thought this would be nice and add a few more like uh, decorations and clutter and stuff to make it feel like lived in and fully decorated and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, here I'm adding some plant decorations to the nightstands. I think this is so cute and I love adding like the, uh, the light and the books and stuff. But yeah, over here is when I was like, okay, what am I going to do along this wall? And then I thought to add these bookcases and I'm just so happy that I did because I was able to clutter up the top of them with a bunch of different decorations, some more candles, um, some more plants obviously, and more books and stuff. And I think it just turns out to be so cute. Um, and so like I mentioned earlier, I didn't use the tool mod to replace the windows. Here I did end up using the tool mod just to kind of lower objects to actually look like they were sitting on the surface. Um, so if you are on console, this doesn't matter. This isn't going to affect the game at all. And it's not something you're gonna have to worry about. It's only when I replace the windows because the original windows will still be here when you place the apartment. So hopefully that changes eventually so it's not a problem for you guys who are playing on console. Um, but just resizing objects or placing them um, won't cause any problems if you don't have the tool mod. But anyways, yeah, here I'm just adding the final decorations here in the bedroom on this bookcase and I just I love the way it turns out I think it's so cute and I just love this apartment so hopefully you guys have enjoyed it as well but definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments down below but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions you have and I'll talk to you guys soon bye Memories are chasing you away from